There are 20 state teams and eight international teams playing here at Ballparks of America. Now, we spoke to several players and their families today, and they say it's just surreal to be here. We're about to play some baseball. We have 28 teams. Bahamas, Mid Atlantic. 20 participants per team coaches, players, bat boys. It's a once in a lifetime event. Big stakes for teams all across the world as they battle in the Cal Ripken Major 70 tournament for the World Championship title. It's incredible. We have nothing, nothing like this at home. Home for Samantha Casper Richardson is Sydney, Australia. Go! Yeah! We just didn't know what we were in for. We've got all dirt fields, all grass fields, and they are currently all underwater. It's very, very wet at home. So this has been such a beautiful change. For many families, their journey here started last week. The team arrived over a couple of days, but we were all in Texas by last Friday. And we left our boat, um, the 1st of August. Um, we have the flight um, to Philadelphia. There we stay at night. And Tuesday the 2nd, we fly from Philadelphia to St. Louis. And then there we get the car and we drove to here. Although the journey wasn't quite as long for some, Brands and Pirates. they are just as excited to play ball. Play Hawaii first game? Yep. <laughs> and then we're going to we play Maryland too. Yeah. So it's going to be, be awesome. Here. It's going to be really good. Every single one of these teams is a champion. Win or lose, Michael Salonik says the memories from the tournament will last a lifetime. I don't think we're going to be able to get them home. They're going to be kicking and screaming. Like We're going to have to drag them out of here, I think. Now, one thing players and families weren't exactly expecting was this heat and humidity, especially people that are out from the country, but they say they are finally starting to get used to it if they can. Reporting at Ballparks of America, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First.